Welcome to another software review where I show you uh, programs that you may not know exist that are just fun and uh, today we're going to be looking at Onico. So you can install it, it should be in your repositories if you don't already have it installed. So check out your package manager or software manager or if you're using a Debian based system you can do sudo uh, apt-get install Onico is the name of the program. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. There's probably going to be a lot of things I mispronounce in this video. Now, I already have it installed, but you would hit enter, type in your password, and it would install it for you. At this point, you can type in Onico, and it will start up the application. As you can see, there's a cat now that is going to follow my mouse. And when it gets to my mouse, my mouse actually turns into, I believe, a little mouse. So, or my cursor turns into a little mouse, I should say. So that's the default setting, but it actually has a uh, few other options in here. So again, Onico, you can also throw it into the background if you want with an ampersand at the end, so that way you can continue typing in your shell and you can actually run another instance of it. So I can do that and now I have two cats chasing my cursor. And so the next command will be the same, but we're gonna add the switch of Torah. Uh, which will add the same cap with the lines as if he's a tiger. I'm going to assume that's what the Torah means. Next, we can run the same command, but with dog. And now I have the three cats and a dog chasing my cursor. Uh, next, we can use the dash Sikora, I'm assuming is how you say that, which adds a little girl who appears to be dressed as a cat, is now chasing my cursor as well. And uh, finally, we also have Tamor, Tamay, Tumoyo, Tumoyo, which is just a, uh, another girl that chases the cursor. So now you have cats and dogs and people chasing your cursor. But we're not done there. There are other options. So, for example, uh, we can do the same command uh, that we did with that girl there, and we can add in foreground and background colors. So dash FG for foreground, and we can make her red. So now her foreground color is red, or we can do blue, and now we have another one where she's blue, and we can also do background color instead of foreground color. So now we have a girl here uh, whose foreground color is black and her background color is blue, and uh, we can do the reverse of that, or we can do green, so now I have a green girl running around, and you can combine those with, uh, so BG for background, FG for foreground, we do green and red, so now we have that combination going. So now you have all these running like this, and let's say you want to stop them. Obviously, uh, if you're familiar with, the, with using the ampersand to throw programs in the background, we have their process numbers here, so I can kill the first one with kill and the process number or process ID. Uh, I can also do uh, FG and press enter and that brings the last one I ran to the foreground and then I can control C to kill it and I can do that one at a time or I can just say kill all Oniko and that will kill all of them. So that's it. A little program you may or may not know have existed. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, it could be fun having these things running around on your screen. As always, I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000 if you want to become a supporter of mine. If you can't support me financially, you can like, subscribe, share, and comment. Those things help promote my videos and that helps me out a lot. I thank you for watching and as always, I hope that you have a great day.